Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and in today's video we're going to talk about Epic Universe. That's right, Bioreconstruct is back at it with his weekly updates of his land and we're starting off of course with the classic Monsters Land. Over here you can see the Monsters Roller Coaster room to be themed to where the Werewolf. Uh, where if yeah, and here's the again the whole footprint of the coaster that Top building to the left hand side will be I believe a restaurant. That's on the not part of monsters land That is part of the hub area So this will have a buffer not be a buffer zone or have some probably Monsters or werewolf theming on the back of that restaurant But the white little white building to the top is again the station and maintenance storage area and that trench is the launch when it launches to the coaster and you'll see later on there's some track installed there as this uh, coaster starts progressing quite rapidly here's another look at the overall monsters land you can see again that restaurant that big building to the front is almost fully done it's definitely fully framed and that will be a space themed restaurant then you can see the monsters portal right there the monsters land portal hanging out in between the dirt where that bottom arrow is then you can see a lot of steel support and still yeah steel supports going up for i'm not sure if this is gonna be inside or outside the land but either will be a monster's gift shop outside the land or a building inside i think it's gonna be a monster's gift shop outside the land though since it's kind of near the portal area and i think the front will be facing the hub but you can see a lot of scaffolding is full up for the Frankenstein attraction and a lot of facade work going on there and that's and you can see some pathway work happening and what may be a statue or some sort of feature um, right in the middle there uh, looks like a kind of the plaza area the structure the whole building for the monsters area or for the Frankenstein attraction is completely sealed up and ready to go I mean look at it, it's completely done looks just like a warehouse now but uh, of course the facade elements will block that remember to be Frankenstein's castle so I cannot wait to see how they theme that up taking another look at a closer track of the coaster you still see the footers there and then there's the launch track right there I'll put an arrow right showing that launch track elevating and I think they'll be going uh, descending into that launch track this would be a rumor to be a mock spinning coaster and it definitely has the mock track so that seems to be correct um, and it's supposed to be on the lines of let's say Cobra's curse um, more so than you know the mock extreme spinning coasters and um, there's a rumor for a while there that they could have upgraded the coaster but now it seems to be back down to a Cobra's Curse family friendly type of attraction. And moving on, this is kind of a first for our updates here. Um, Bio Reconstruct always does the full site, which is awesome. But these off site hotel properties have not had much construction recently. But now, all of a sudden, they've gone vertical. And yes, this is one of those two off site hotels. Not the Helios Grand Hotel that's in the plaza, but one of those ones offsite. There's two more offsite, but very near the resort. As you can see, these will also be space themed, but there's even some windows installed or cutouts for windows installed. And they are about four floors up on one of the towers and they're on the first floor on the second tower. These almost look like prefab uh, buildings where they build it offsite and just kind of stack it together. And if so... That'll make the construction go by very, very quickly as they can just, it becomes like Legos and they'll be stacking it together at that point. Moving on to the How to Train Your Dragon Land, you can see the Great Hall, which is the number three right there, all ready to go. The How to Train Your Dragon Coaster, which is on number two right there. Or is that the co uh Yeah, that is, that, I believe that is part of the coaster. Yeah, because there's footers right there. And then number one, which is part of the coaster as well. Here is a just a massive overlook of the attraction of the How to Train Your Dragon area. The top area, arrow to the right hand side of that big square pad. That'll be the big 900 seat theater. The middle is the Great Hall. 
the bottom uh, concrete pit will be the roller coaster where you'll be flying on a dragon's back. I think you can even see on the very bottom of the picture uh, some of the Starfall Racers coaster track, which we'll get more into later. But there's a big station area, and they have added more track to both uh, sides of that coaster down below, which is amazing. But how to train dragons by far the biggest area. Look how massive that is. I believe it's about around 14 acres. Um, uh, side here, they'll have plenty of uh, kid-friendly attractions and a family-friendly coaster, of course, and with the theater and a very immersive, great hall rest dining restaurant, which uh, looks fantastic. And here's yet another view of that. You can see the maintenance bay and the station for the coaster to the right, at the left-hand side there. And then the water feature that whole the reason that whole area is dug out on the right hand side for the coaster is because that'll be a water feature in the rock work and look very very nice as you glide through there and it's the coaster will kind of go around the entire land almost like a people mover but like a coaster you know what i'm saying but it'll have the same aspects of a people mover as it just encompasses the entire land but it'll just be a coaster going around the entire land this should look familiar to you. This is, of course, Super Nintendo World, opening here in Hollywood on February 17th, and opening here in Super Nintendo World in 2025, in the summer. They have everything just about ready to go. Everything's vertical, and things are starting to be covered up now. You can see the big Mario Kart massive show building about to be covered up. The Mario, uh, the Yoshi tracks are fully installed. That tra attraction is totally done now. They're... The one show scene is being installed there. Mount Beanpole's topped out, topped off, just waiting for its scaffolding. And the rest of the land, the Peach's Castle, and all the good stuff, is just steel right now, but it will be moving on later. Looking at Donkey Kong, a lot of the um, these buildings are starting to be enclosed. The show scenes and stations for this attraction, as well as the maintenance bay. A lot of the track is installed, if not all completed already. A lot of the false track is installed, if not completed already as well. The rest of the area, of course, will be the Donkey Kong Country land with the meet and greets and the snack stands. And that whole thematic setup getting coming to Japan in 2024 and maybe Hollywood a little later. But yeah, these buildings have moved on past the steel phase and they have had their drywall phase or the blue sections are on. As you can see, there's an overview of Nintendo World, of course. That blue drywall type of section uh, padding is on, as we saw with our Super Nintendo World here in Hollywood during that construction process. Also here at number four is that space restaurant just outside the classic Monsters Land. At the very right corner is the Monsters Coaster. Number three on the list here is the rumored mock attraction. It's kind of a carousel splash teacups attraction. Is, that's what's rumored there. But there'll be some kind of a, some kind of flat ride right there, encompassed in a glass um, glass ceiling. And of course, we have um, just the hub area right over there. And here we go into the Starfall Racers section. Starfall Racers, this is where the, we'll be turning around, this is where all those supports are in the back of the park. And they'll be turning around, racing and turning around as you head back towards the hub of the park, going around what, probably 65 or so miles per hour as you're racing and dueling. And this is kind of where that inverted element will be that will be that signature weenie, so to speak. Um, that'll be quite the element, and you can see it in the Amusement Insider's uh, awesome fan made POV of that. That's amazing. Definitely go check that out. Here's some more track that's been installed for the Starfall Racers again on both sides of the project. This is uh, it going coming out of the station and going to its first launch, and then also one of those. Airtime Hill and coming to the final one of the final turn or er, uh, mid course turns, which is quite nice. It's a pretty tall airtime hill. Every time I look at it, I'm thinking it looks like taller and taller, especially as they add more track. Like, wow, that's pretty decent. That's pretty high up, higher than I thought. I thought it would be just like 
maybe like less than no, less than 50 feet or so but this looks like it could be maybe more than 50 feet here's an overview of the starfall racers because again the launch section and you can see the maintenance bay there there's four tracks or the tracks don't look to be installed yet but four areas for track of course because there is a yep looks like two maintenance bays per side which would be pretty nice you don't have lots of coasters moving well, lots of coaster trains on there going in and out for refurbishment and probably the most exciting part of this update at least in my opinion is the wizarding world section because the facades are starting to be installed yes this seems to be oh, with nintendo and maybe monsters in the most complete sections of the park i know that, that sounds like all of them but I guess this might be the most complete section because, yes, the facades, the city facades are starting to be installed here for the Wizarding World, and that's why I included it here in my thumbnail because it looks so cool. Look at those nice facades there. A lot of new steel starting as well. So as you can see, kind of see those kind of those tight, not not quite as tight, not quite as tight as Diagon Alley, but still tight spaces starting to form as you walk through the streets of Paris. And then you'll take the flu network to the British Ministry of Magic. At least that is what's rumored. The main ride building to this attraction is all the way in the back and out of frame. And that is, looks to be complete. You can see it, the walls are on. All this you see now is, uh, of course, the facade and then queue space. And that is starting to be wrapped up right now as well. There's supposed to be the Harry Potter... For, VR broomstick attraction as a second plot of land here, second attraction for this land, but that has been cut thankfully because that looked like uh, looked like it sucked ever since it was rumored and came to conception. It seemed like it was very bad and not quite the ride that Universal is capable of right now. So I'm so glad they actually cut that and we we'll use that expansion space later on for a future expansion. But those this land will still have a small theater attached to it and here's a better better look at those city facades look at that look at that detail and amazing detail work starting to pop up here gosh i can't wait till they go to the next phase and actually install you know the actual facades themselves it's gonna be great and you can see they're still going over that between creating like a barrier between the actual facade and the outside of there so that may be the rumored arctic day try-off section or just some kind of a gateway into this city's landscape here which uh it's me quite fun to explore this new wizarding world land as they continue to this will be their third one be in or in orlando and hollywood look at that only has one so far so hollywood gotta catch up bring back and bring that diagon alley and of course just an overview of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Land. A lot of empty space there. Again, that's probably where that second attraction was rumored to be. They'll put up a facade. Almost like they have with Avengers Campus now. They'll just put up a facade. And they'll be to kind of block out that empty space. Until they're ready to add a new attraction there. And of course, they'll have the theater. Which will be, I think, embedded in all those buildings. And all that steel behind there. And of course, this will be... Uh, there's, you can see the... Uh, archway in the gift shop for the wizarding world of harry potter area as well so what are you asking of epic universe are you very excited i'm so glad and each week seems like lots and lots of progress has been accomplished more and more verticality you know more structures more definition on each of the lands you know, how to train your dragons is the biggest land so see that makes sense why that seems to be the slowest going because it's just like what like 14 acres so it's like it's massive there's plenty of attractions to build over there but that will land i'm sure will catch up quite nicely especially as they start to finish other lands like nintendo world looks to be you know moving quite nicely and the monsters land seems to be moving quite nicely and this one does so i'm sure as crews finish those lands they'll move on to other portions of the site and those areas will speed up as well but what's your favorite land what's your most anticipated land coming to this park are you very excited for this park are you not excited at all let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more theme park updates and nintendo updates from here in epic universe and here in hollywood as well and just theme park updates in general as always have a fantastic day